Hi everyone, I'm CJ, aka Adventure Shock 24, and welcome back to Adventure Paradise, where in this episode we are going to hopefully try and find the nether portal. No, 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 wait, what am I talking about? Not the nether portal. We're gonna hopefully find the end portal using some eyes of enders, but bringing some extra enderpools, of course, and some maps, and I've got a bow and arrow, fancy bow and arrow, because. You know, I'm, I'm I might sh I post like a, a resource pack video, but video showcasing this in the future. But like, I I literally I made a resource pack for my survival series, like custom for this series, and I also added Optifine as well. So now I have Optifine, I have the zoom, I have like the dynamic lighting where if I hold a torch, it lights the world up without me having to place it down. I have all that stuff, uh, cool stuff from Optifine, including the glass panes connecting properly, which is also really cool for build projects in the future, but yeah, I, I made a resource pack, it doesn't change too many normal Minecraft aspects, just changed a, changes a few things, I'm, I'm gonna go over all that stuff, you know, what it changes in a resource pack, like, showcase video, that probably will come, will have, well, I'm just gonna assume that that video would have probably gone up before this one, so you probably already know about all this stuff by now, but... That's not what we're here to talk about today. We are going to go to the O2, find the end portal. So, I think we should just go for it. I think we, I think before the episode began, I prepared enough and got everything that I thought I would probably need. So I think the general direction for the portal is this way, right? Yeah. So I have maps just in case I need to, like, you know take note of where this place is. So if we go here, I'm actually, oh. I'm going to the left. I thought I was going straight up. I didn't know I was going up. I mean, I thought I was going going to be going up and out of this map, like, up this way. But apparently, the direction of the portal and behind my house is to the left, which I did not know that. I thought behind my house was going upwards, but apparently not. So that means I might... Um, if that Assuming that the end portal is part of this map, that would be good, because it means I didn't need to make a new map. That would be useful, I could save the maps for other things. But yeah, I think- ooh! Oh, that's lucky! There's an Enderman over here, in the middle of the day! Don't know how that happened- ooh, there's two! What? There's two Endermen here, and they both just teleported away in the middle of the day. That rhymed, and that, 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 that was weird. That, that weirds me out a little bit, but anyway, let's just- did it teleport right next to me? Cause I just- cause I heard that. I heard that teleporting sound. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, let's leave. And find the end portal, hopefully. I just need to- let's climb up this hill a little bit more. Let's- like, let's go up on this mountain, and then we'll throw another Eye of Ender. Because, as I know that straight this way is the general direction, but I don't know, like, I like, where exactly it is this way. So, we're gonna see. And I just need to go over here, and then there's a creeper over there, somehow. Again, middle of the day, don't understand why that's happening. I see you there, creeper. I'm so happy to have Optifine in, because it means I can just zoom in on all this the, all this stuff. And you're staying, you're staying away from me, right, creeper? You are staying away, right? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's not bothering me for now. And it's still going this way, except it's curving a little bit. It went to the left a bit. And I've lost my first Eye of Endo. Why am I so unlucky with these things? Other people, when they play this game and look for the end portal, they find it with only, like, two Eyes of Ender. But whenever I go for it, I lose all the Eyes of Ender I, Ender I throw. And again, more enemies in the daytime. Maybe it just turned from night to day? Maybe? It's lagging a little bit. I don't know if I've been in this direction if I've started lagging. But, okay, let's just... Ugh, it's lagging like mad. Don't understand. Maybe it's because of Optifine, or maybe it's because, like, the world is still generating or something. But I swear I've been this way before. I swear I even... Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard you there, skeleton. You almost hit me. This is crazy. And as you can see, look, look at the arrows in the bow. This is amazing. Yes, let's go, go away, skeleton. Give me some extra arrows, thank you, for this normal bow. I'm not bringing the invincible. I'm not bringing my diamond armor. I'm not bringing anything that I don't want to lose, because I just, you know, preparing in advance, assuming that I'm probably going to end up dying on this expedition somehow. So, you know, I'm just going to build up a little bit with this netherrack, and once we're at the top of this hill, this is a really steep hill, actually. Wow, that's crazy. Why is this hill so steep? Wow, that's weird. And another th 
floating island, which is also very weird. But anyway, if I get to the top of here, I should be able to throw another Eye of Ender and see where we're going. In a minute, I'm probably just going to cut ahead into the video to when I either run out of an Eyes of Ender or to when I find it. I'm the portal. So, okay. Is this tree a good place? Might as well. Okay, it's still curving this way. Okay, don't break. It broke again? I'm so unlucky with Eyes of Ender. Other people, like I said before, when they play in their series, it's so laggy also. Ugh, that's so annoying, the lag. Don't do that. I might... If it's because of Optifine, I might remove Optifine. The zoom and stuff is not worth this much lag. I don't like this. But anyway, I, ca I can't believe I'm so unlucky with these Eyes of Ender. That's why I brought so many extra Ender Pearls. Like, I don't, I don't understand why I just always never keep the, the Eye of Ender when it happens to me. Okay, I'm just gonna go, like, maybe a couple, a couple thousand blocks this way, maybe. Just to, just to hopefully use as many, use as little Eyes of Ender as possible. I'm just gonna go a little bit further this way, maybe on top of this tree right over here. And then I should be able to throw another one. Okay, let's eat a little bit, just because it's it's turning nighttime. I didn't think of oh, I did plan ahead for nighttime. Great, I put a bit. I brought a bed with me. Great, I'm glad I did that. So, okay, it's still going this way. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh man, hallelujah! For once, it actually didn't break my eye of ender. Thank goodness. Thank you, game, for letting me keep one. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going in these planes and sleeping, of course, to prevent it and monsters from killing me on the way there. But, yeah, hopefully we should find this ender portal soon. Ooh. Ooh, I think we're getting closer. And another one has broke. Okay. Well, I think we're close to where the portal should be because the ender portals have started going backwards. That means that the end portal and the stronghold are in between... The house, which is in the top right corner here, and here, where I am in this in this little spot here. Wow! Oh boy! Oh, that's lucky. Okay, we're close to the portal. That means. Okay, so I think the best thing to do would probably be to maybe dig down a little bit and then just go straight this way instead of like pinpointing where it is. Because, like, I don't want to waste that many Ender Pearls. I don't want to waste that many Eyes of Ender. I, like, just in case they break, I want to save as many as I can. So that I can go to the portal really soon, but... So should I... Okay, so here's my options. Should I do the normal thing that at all the other players do, and use up their Eyes of Enders to locate the exact location, and then just dig straight down to find the portal? Or should I... Do I be fancy and try, now that it's going backwards and, and the port and the stronghold's behind me somewhere, dig down to where I think the stronghold would be, like, I don't know, maybe like, like, ten, like 50 blocks below the ground, out of the surface, and then just dig straight this way and I'll just run into it, by chance. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm going to do a dig down a little bit, like dig down a fair amount, and then just dig straight this way, and then hopefully I'll just run into the portal there. Oh, oh, I dug into something. There's something down here. I don't know if it's just a normal cave, though. That's the thing. Like, okay, where am I on the map? Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm in between the mountain, which is where I threw another ender pearl, and the other place where we, where we last cut in from. So, I don't know where the portal is. I don't know if it's gonna be around here, but, like, like, who knows? Maybe it could be, and that's why I'm gonna explore this cave a little bit more. Yeah, that's what's gonna, gonna go on here. I, yeah, it is annoying that there's, like, a bunch of gravel here, but I can make it a little safer. Who knows? Maybe I can find some, uh, some extra diamonds down here. That would be great, but I don't expect that to be what's happening here. Okay, I just want to dig away as much of this gravel as I possibly can, and then replace it with some netherrack so that I can find my way back easily easily so that's this place i just don't know Ooh, emeralds cool i think that's because i, I think that's because i'm in a mountain biome that like I, I i think it's because i'm in a mountain biome that it's like emeralds can spawn here 
well, the stronghold could be around here. I mean, we're pretty deep down, and, like, like, and we're in between where I threw a couple ender pearls. So, ooh, emeralds. Ooh, I just really want to mine these things, but I want to save some inventory space for if we find the stronghold. I'm definitely coming back here. Whether or not the stronghold is here or not, doesn't matter. I'm definitely coming back here eventually anyway. But I'm not here to mine stuff like that. I could... I really want to grab all this lapis and stuff, but I don't need to. Ugh, I just realized my inventory is actually full. I didn't think it actually was full. So, I'm just gonna drop some stuff. I do want to grab the emeralds, so I'm just gonna grab the emeralds. If I want to grab, grab some emeralds, I'm going to grab them. Nothing's gonna stop me from doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this emerald here as well. I didn't think that I'd be getting emeralds for mining. You never... No one ever expects to get emeralds for mining, do they? It's only ever from villager trading that you ever, like, expect and hope to get an emerald. Ooh, I, I do have a water bucket already on me, so that's great. So, if I do this, I should be able to get rid of all the lava, put some torches down, and see if there are maybe some diamonds around here. But I'm not diamond hunting. I need to f stay focused and remember that I'm not here to diamond hunt. Yeah, there's no diamonds through there, but... I definitely do really want to find this stronghold. I definitely want to find it. I just don't know when I'm going to find it. And I definitely also really want to find it today. I don't want to I don't want to end this episode before having found it. I always hate going through these dark kill corridors. Ugh, there's a creeper. I knew there would be a creeper up there. I I can sense when there's a creeper nearby. I knew that in that corner up there, it was going to be just like my old series, where there'd be a creeper waiting for me uh, at the top of that place. And there goes my netherrack staircase. Please, can my staircases ever just stay? Okay, so I think the creeper... There should be maybe another one nearby. Don't know. Because I'm just testing my creeper senses now. Ooh. Okay, a bat. Ooh. The skeletons are freaky when they have that, like, those special bows that I made them have. Wow. Okay, just go away. Uh, yeah, go away. There we go. Now that's that. Ugh. Okay, I just need to put some more torches down. Grab this extra emerald. I don't... I'm, I'm beginning to think I'm probably not going to find the stronghold in this place. Either that or I could get really lucky and actually find it, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to be what happens here. I think I'm going to explore this cave for ages, find, lo find loads of cool ore, not find diamonds, though, and I'm going to not find the stronghold. And then I'm going to end up uh, out epping the... I'm going to end up epping... I'm going to... I can't... I can't speak properly in that sentence. I need, I'm going to end up ending the episode having not found the stronghold yet. That's going to be what happens here. So I just need to, you know, break a few blocks behind me and, you know, do, look at this enderman in the eye. There we go. Thank you. Give me an, uh, give me an extra ender pearl. Thank you, enderman. There we go. Getting more ender pearls on the go. So maybe if I don't find the portal here, I won't have, like, wasted all my ender pearls because I would get back the amount that I lost, if that makes sense. Ugh, I'm losing my mind in this place. I need to leave. I need to find the portal. That's really what I should be doing. But there's so many emeralds around here. It's so good. And, wow, that's a lot of gold as well. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely coming back here to mine the rest of this stuff like iron and gold and lapis. But there's just no reason for me to be here if there isn't a stronghold portal here. Go away. Go away. Go away, spider. Go away. I don't know why I'm fighting you with the pickaxe. Okay, um, okay, so I could go this way, and there should be, well, there's, there's a ravine here, I think. Okay, a ravine might actually be a great place to see if there is a stronghold around here, because ravines are, like, really big. There could be, a, there could be a stronghold anywhere in this cave, because where are we on the map? We're still in between, like, we're still in a place where there could be the stronghold. There's no guarantee that there isn't one here. So, okay, I'm just gonna search around this cave a little longer, see if there's anything here. If there isn't, then I'm probably gonna just, you know, continue looking, and I'll co Either way, I'm coming back to you when I either find diamonds, or if I find the stronghold. And night of a day later! Yes! Oh, finally! 
finally, okay, so we found the stronghold, finally, I decided, you know what I did, I just decided to go back up to the surface and do the normal thing of throwing enderpearls and pinpointing the exact location and then digging down, I just decided to do that because it was too hard the other way, hey, I, I tried to be sneaky and it didn't work, but, oh, finally, the stronghold has been found, I repeat, the stronghold has been found, so now, I think if we dig down into here, yes, well, we finally, finally, after so long, found the stronghold. I've been recording for, like, I think maybe two hours. This has been forever. That's probably an exaggeration, but look, I even got an advancement for finding the stronghold. And at the end, by the end of it, we ended out with five Eyes of Ender spare. So I think, unless we're super lucky with how many are already in the portal, we are definitely going to need to get some more Eyes of Ender. But that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just... Oh, man, thank goodness. I could not take digging down like this anymore. Oh, man, I'm so glad we found the stronghold. But now, should we... We're gonna explore it, maybe, today as well, but hang on, let me just dig out a little bit of a path here, and then put a, like, put a hole here, and so that I can throw away some stuff. I don't need this, I don't wanna keep, I, I really, I kind of do wanna keep the stone bricks, but, it, 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 and like the stone bricks and stuff, so I might take this stuff of to build with later, but there we go. Okay. I might keep this torch handy. Yeah, I'm gonna replace this with the bow. I'm gonna explore this place by holding the torch with Optify Ein's help. And, of course, being creeped out by the creepy noises. But, uh, I don't like this. I'm just gonna peer around every corner with... Oops, don't put it down. With shield in hand. Okay, nothing in those cells. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here and light this place up, because I cannot light it up right now. I literally don't have any more stuff to light this place up with. I have no torches. Well, actually, I could craft some more. Yeah, I might craft some more. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Let's craft some more torches. And let's just use all the coal I have to make as many torches as possible, just to light this place up and make sure it's safe. There we go. Hello? Anyone here? This fortress seems, since I feel actually pretty good, considering I actually feel pretty safe. Because, like, the, the sound effects meter thing isn't telling me that any sound effects are playing. So, which means that, which means that I think there shouldn't be any trouble here. I might, I'm, I'm definitely, yeah. I don't think there's a way to get these cobwebs with silk touch or anything, so I'm probably just gonna grab these with the sword. I'm gonna grab as much string from this as I can. And then I might look in the chests around here. Hopefully there's some good enchanted books. That would be cool. What's in this chest? Fire aspect and punch. Not great, but if I ever want a sword with fire aspect, I can take it. I can take the extra paper as well. Don't mind if I do. I'll come back here for the books and other stuff that I don't have room for later as well. But for now, I just really want to get to find the place with the portal. That's really all I want to do here right now. Once I find the portal, I don't even have to light it. I just want to find the portal so that I can leave. This is a small library. It's actually a pretty small library. I'd like to build a base here, like a spare base. That is a lot of books and a lot of paper as well. I'm going to take the paper. I'm coming back here for the books as well, but I cannot grab them right now. I definitely want to build a base here later on, but for now, I think I just want to focus on finding the portal and then ending the episode, because I've been going on for way too long. Okay. I, I, I still, I'm so happy that we found the, found the fortress. This is so good. It's not a fortress. It's a stronghold. What am I talking about? Okay. Around this corner. Ooh, the first chest. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a button on the wall. I'm just going to put this button down here, since there doesn't seem to be a button anywhere around here to activate this door. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna put some torches down. You know, always, you know, putting torches down just to be safe. What's in here? An ender pearl! Yay! Great! I was hoping to find some spare ender pearls in, like, the random chests in these strongholds. I can put away the stone bricks for now. I definitely want to grab up as many stone bricks as I can from this place later on. But for now, I only really want to take all the other stuff. And there is a button on this door. 
Ooh, there it is. There's the portal. It's right through this door. Great. Now that I think about it, this is actually a really small fortress. This nether fortress is tiny. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, I'm sure there were other ways to go that I didn't take, like, other random pass passageways. But from what I've seen, I don't think there is actually any... I Like, this place seems like a pretty small stronghold, which I'm glad about. I'm glad it's not too big of a maze. But... It means there's not as much treasure as I was expecting. But hey, here's the portal. It has three eyes of Endo already in it. Okay, might as well put in the eyes of Endo I already have right now. One, two, three. Ooh, I heard silverfish. There must be one around here. There we go. I got rid of it of most of the lava, so I don't need to worry about that as much. Unless I fall into the portal, then I need to worry. But if I put this one here... I like the new sound effects for putting in the eyes of Endo. I like that. That's really cool. Anyway, um... I should keep this golden apple handy as well, just in case. I don't have any more blaze powder, so I'm gonna need to go get more blaze powder and some more eyes of Endo off camera. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some more eyes of Endo off camera. But the next episode, now that we found this portal, the next episode is gonna be all about preparation. And by that, I mean I'm going to do everything I need. I'm going to have a bed here. I'm going to sleep here so that I can respawn on here if I fail. And I'm going to set up let's add, add up an ender chest. And I'm going to set up just loads of things in this room to help me complete the ender dragon if I fail. Like loads of backup tools, backup weapons, backup armor. You know, loads of spare stuff just in case something goes wrong. That's what the plan is. Because I know that, like, I... I did beat the Ender Dragon first try in my original series, Journey Through Minecraftia, but, like, I feel like I got lucky with that. So, I'm just gonna leave the fortress as it is for now, I'm gonna leave that room there, and, yeah, that's gonna be about it for this video. Please like the video if you like the video, of course, and subscribe, maybe, if you wanna see more videos like it. And I'll see you all on the next episode of Adventure Paradise. Adventure on! Oh, also, by the way, if we look at the map, this is where we are on the map. Great. Well, like, in the, uh, I had to dig through an entire, like, top of the world height, light mountain, which is, which was very tedious. But anyway, yeah, adventure on!